In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the different drawing shape available in the main panel just here on the left hand side. By default, you will notice we have different drawing shape. So the one enabled by default is the freehand tool. And if we click on this icon just here, you notice we have different options available. So we have the one point dot, just make one dot, nothing more. We have the dotted line. the freehand stroke and the field stroke. The field stroke is really interesting. Actually, you just have to draw a HUD to define your shape. And when you drop your stylus, the shape is filled. Now let's see about the line. So with the line, we can draw a line. And if we hold the click, we can choose a field line. So you just have, again, to draw a HUD by making some clicks and then to over the shape, you just have to oh, finish it like this. We also have the rectangle and the field rectangle. The ellipse and different way to draw ellipse or circles. We have the two point circle where you define the diameter and the three-point cycle. And you have their field equivalent. You also have some spline just here. So you have the three points line. So you just have to draw a line, then drop your stylus and move the line like this to create your spline. You also have some busy spline. Click to create the spline. You can eventually change the spline by clicking on each handle and make it make it smooth like this. Then to confirm your choice, you have to hit enter on your keyboard or return. Then we have the B spline. and then hit return on your keyboard. You can eventually reapply a spline by hitting back return. Then use control to move the spline. Anyway, keep in mind that those splines are just a guide to draw. They are especially useful for the cleaning process. Anyway, you can't really save them or um, use them for a different purpose than drawing. You can't use them for the effects, for example. It's not possible. You can, you can just use them uh, to draw. By the way, once you apply a stroke made with a B-spline, the stroke is then a bitmap element. It's not a vectorial element anymore. And then we also have the Bezier and the B-spline in their field version. To finish a stroke, to finish the shape, you can make a right click and click on close the spline and then hit enter. And then we have the paint bucket that we already know. Following the shapes that you may choose in the main panel, you will have different options available here in the tool panel. So if, for example, I'm taking a stroke or a line, I have those different pen available. So 
So we have the stroke with the pen brush, the pencil, the eraser, the mechanical pencil, the old brush, the airbrush, the wet brush, the special brush, the text tool, and the custom brush. But this one will have its own dedicated tutorial, so I will talk about it in another one. If you remember, in the previous tutorial, we talk about the papers, you know, those feature available here. I said you could also use papers and create your own paper from images, from like photographs or from scan images. Here I have a photograph that I can turn into a paper. To do so, let's open the paper panel and let's make a right click, create new paper. And here is my new paper. And then a last feature that may interest you, especially for the cleaning process when you are drawing, is this option just here. Let me just clean a little bit the interface. Let's click then on this option. Here is the line smoothing. The line smoothing will allow you to avoid this kind of stroke that you may have if you have a shaking hand. So let's activate the light smoothing. Let's show the HUD and let's increase a lot the smoothing. It's just here for the exercise, just to show you how it works. I don't advise you to have such a big a smoothing value. So let's draw. Here we can see my line and we can see a little, tiny little HUD that looks like a little string. And this string allows me to know where I am about to go with my line. When you drop the stylus, then we can See, we have a perfect smooth line. So this smooth line is really um, handy to make round shapes. If you need to make some angles or some edges, I advise you to change the smooth type by clicking here and use the pull string. It's really useful to draw Christmas trees or shark teeth. When you think TV paint, you noticed a kind of leggy, not really leggy, but actually, if you notice such a gap between your stylus and the line. Have a look to the line smoothing and see if the line smoothing is not the guilty guy. Better. <laughs> 